Hi, it's Karen with Living Our Dream Homestead, where today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to be talking about the Kroger toilet paper that I bought a couple of days ago because it was such an excellent deal. Um, I wanted to see if it was worth the price that I ended up paying. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please click the button down below. If you've already subscribed, thank you very much. I'm comparing the Kroger toilet paper I just bought to my uh, members mark toilet paper. No one is sponsoring this video. I just wanted to go ahead and do it for myself to see if it really was worth picking up this Kroger toilet paper. So let me go ahead and turn the camera around and show you this up close. Here is the Kroger toilet paper I've got right here. And this again was 12 double rolls and I paid $3.99. That was the sale price. So it would equal to 24 regular rolls. Now this, the normal price is $7. Now which, to me, which is absolutely too high and I wouldn't have bought it if it was regular price. But for $3.99, I thought it was worth a try. Um, my Sam's Club members mark right here, usually you get this pack in a big, huge plastic container I have over here. Uh, and usually you get a total of five of these. So when you buy the Sam's Members Mark toilet paper, you are paying $22.98 and you're getting five packs of these. So each pack actually equals out to $4.59 for these nine large rolls. Now again, I don't know if these large rolls are equal to so many of you know, the regular rolls like the Kroger one. Uh, but I thought it was a worth, you know, worth a try. Now they're both septic safe. So that you know, you can use them in your septic tank. Now my members mark right here, I've got it right here. If you can see, there's like kind of a pretty design there. I don't know what you would call that. They're both two ply. And uh, this one, you know, like I said, it just, it feels more soft, more, more fluffier. Uh, you know, and that's my go-to that I always use all the time. The Kroger brand right here, like I said, it's not bad. The design on it is, if you can see that, like a bunch of flowers. Um, you know, again, I don't really care what it looks like as long as it does the job and it's going to hold up well. Again, this is two-ply toilet paper. It's not real, real see-through, so, you know, you can you can, you know, you can't really see my hand or what I'm doing behind it. So that is a plus. And of course, this one's really, really thick. You can't see at all behind this as well. But when you compare both of them side by side, you know, look at this one. This one's definitely a larger roll than this, uh, hands down. Now the Kroger, this one roll, or excuse me, all the rolls in the pack, there's 200 and 42 two-ply uh, sheets. Now this one over here, the members mark, is only 235. So shockingly, this one is giving you less sheets in here, even though it looks so much bigger than this one. And this one over here, like I said, is giving you more. Now both of them did an okay job uh, in the bathroom. Uh, the only thing I can say is both of them held up uh, well, uh, you know, in the bathroom. But when you wet it, they both still did pretty good. This one did not end up shredding when you wetted it. And this one, like I said, it was it's just so soft. It kind of, it, you know, it didn't absorb all the water. Not saying it's supposed to because it's not like a bounty or anything like that. But they all both did a really good job. They're both unscented toilet paper. Uh, the reason why I wanted to try this one over here is just, you know, with the state of the world that we're in and the economy, everything's going up. And, you know, we all want to save a little bit, you know, wherever we can uh, in our budget. So that's why I decided to go ahead and do the review. Now on the Kroger website, four people rated that this toilet paper from Kroger was excellent that they would buy it again. Now they would buy it again before inflation because of the price they said now for $7 for this, they wouldn't buy it. It's not worth it. Uh, but for $3.99, sure, because you know, when you equal that out, that's still cheaper than one pack of this from Sam's. 
And again, you know, not many people will go to Sam's Club or have a membership and you're buying again all in bulk. Uh, but they both, like I said, did did a gr great job. Now, again, five reviews on the Kroger toilet paper said that it was so rough, it was like gas station toilet paper. Now, I didn't purchase any gas station toilet paper. I know it's usually one ply, and it's pretty thin that you could literally see your hand through it. Um, it, again, is better. Uh, this, to me, is better than gas station toilet paper because this is two ply. Um, and it just, you know, it, it, did, it did a decent job. Now, I have sensitive skin, so honestly, this was a little rough on me. Now, is it as rough as sandpaper? Well, I'll go ahead and show you. Now, here is the Kroger toilet paper. Now, like I said, it feels semi-soft, so it's definitely not like, I don't think it's like sandpaper. So if you rub the toilet paper, against your skin. It feels semi-soft. It's not as soft as Charmin, and it's definitely not as soft as the uh, Sam's Members Mark. That feels like, to me, this feels like a cushion or a soft pillow, and this is just kind of like a little bit like a paper towel, but has, has a little bit of softness to it. And then if you take the sandpaper and rub that against your skin, well, that feels awful. So it's definitely not like sandpaper. So it is a step above that. Uh, and it is de uh, definitely better than gas station toilet paper being so thin and not being able to take care of the job. Again, it's better than no toilet paper. Uh, so you'll just have to use your own judgment if you want to try this or not. But for the price of $3.99 for those 12 uh, double rolls, it was it was worth four dollars absolutely but to pay the regular price at seven dollars i don't think it would be worth it i think you know the members mark getting the whole big pack you know for 20 some odd dollars is a better deal if you didn't have sensitive skin this might be your go-to and it works perfectly fine but with me having sensitive skin it just did not well Thank you for watching. This was Karen with Living Our Dream Homestead. I hope you have a good day.